Biogeochemistry is a very interdisciplinary field, and we're very much interested in the flow of elements through the landscapes and the interaction of biological processes and consuming and releasing elements and how humans interfere with those natural processes. So one of the real, I think, key points that has come out of this conference is how important wetlands are in mitigating nitrogen pollution, for example, that could escape to the Mississippi River and then leach out into the Gulf of Mexico. So we're, one example of this conference is how important wetlands are in removing nitrogen from landscapes before they enter into distal ecosystems. Um, Barry started formally about two years ago. It's the Biogeochemistry Environmental Research Initiative, and it's funded through the Environmental Science and Policy Program, as well as the Office for the Vice President of Research and Graduate Studies at Michigan State University. Uh, it is a group of about 30 faculty and about 30 students across 10 different departments on campus. Uh, one of the things that we realize is that because biogeochemistry tends to be so multidisciplinary that there is no central home for it, and we tend to have a, a very uncohesive cluster of people doing research in many different directions, and we didn't realize that there was so much commonality in all that we were doing. So that was really one of the real reasons to bring Barry together. Well, we, I think we do have a pretty strong biogeochemical core here in at Michigan State, and I think uh, much of it has been based on the fact that we are a land-grant institution with a strong agricultural emphasis, and so things, topics such as nitrogen and phosphorus pollution are really important to agricultural scientists, uh, but it certainly has branched out from there. So we have a lot of people here from forestry, we have people here from geology and zoology and so on. So I'd say we have a pretty strong group. I don't think we're necessarily unique in the Midwest. Uh, you know, it, and again, I think that what happens here at Michigan State, you know, happens at other universities in the sense that it being such a multidisciplinary field that the people at the institutions don't even know necessarily what's going on in their own campuses. Mm -hmm. So I think we have the advantage of just bringing people together from not only MSU but also from other universities throughout the Midwest. I think we have a pretty good turnout. There are about 10 different institutions represented here. I think there are more and more uh, real-world applications to the biogeochemistry that we are doing these days, uh, and in particular because there is enormous amount of release of nitrogen into the environment, uh, which is having uh, impacts in distant ecosystems such as the Gulf of Mexico where there are numerous um, algal blooms that weren't necessarily so strong 20, 30 years ago and there's the creation of the dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico which is almost directly related to nitrogen use in the Midwest. Uh, so the reasons for having biogeochemistry as a field are very important. And one of the interesting aspects is that we know that half of the nitrogen that we apply to agricultural fields disappears before it reaches the Mississippi River, and we really don't know where it goes. Now, in a way, that's a good thing because nitrogen removal could prevent those harmful blooms in the Gulf of Mexico. But unless we understand where it's happening, we can't really manage the landscape to prevent that kind of pollution. And so, for example, it was mentioned today that 80% that of the wetlands were removed in Illinois. Uh, actually, I think it was closer to 90%. Uh, so if those wetlands are indeed incredible reservoirs for removing nitrogen from the environment, it really suggests that wetland restoration is the key. But I think also has come out of this conference is that wetland restoration is not as simple as it seems, that we don't automatically create an ecosystem by simply making it wet, and we don't automatically restore that nitrogen removal functioning.